Welcome back, guys. We are back again with another episode of Vampire, and uh, we we last left off here with uh, got our, our boy over here who's getting taken care of. Um, so we're gonna head on out and about, see what our next objective is here. So enter the Primbook Hospital. Seems like. You can do better than that. Nah, it's my turn. Interesting. What are you do, What are you guys doing over here? Enter. Uh oh. Rotten or pristine, each heart contains the secrets of life. You just kill that man? At this river, try it all. <laughs> oh, come on, you bastard. I won't bite. Sir, please. You've lost too much blood. Calm yourself. Eat him. You think I didn't notice? Stop your staring and get me to an hospital, you ass. I'll let you bleed. Be more polite. I'll, I'll kill you. Insult me again, and I'll put an end to your misery right now. All right, all right. Sorry, I am in pain here. My guts are spilling out onto the street, and you're yabbering on. Yes, that's a very nasty wound you've got there. Take my word. I was, a, I am a doctor, Doctor Jonathan Reed. <sighs> Name's Clay Cox. I'd appreciate you helping me to a better place, Doc. Follow me, Mr. Cox. Let me assist you to that better place. The blood quality indicates how much XP you will obtain from a particular citizen. The higher the blood quality, the more XP you get. Mesmerize. To drink the blood of your prey, you first need to mesmerize them to lead them out of sight from others. If you mesmerize, the level must be equal or higher than the citizen's resistance. LB to mesmerize Clay. Yo! Bring this fading light into the Follow shadows. the red trail. Dance with him the dance of life and death. Yo, embrace Clay Cox or release him. Embracing Clay will provide a massive XP suit, but be aware that there will be consequences. Learning more about citizens collecting their hints will increase the experience gained. There won't be any consequences, boy. Your, uh, your butt's getting eaten. Mmm. Mm, give me that neck. Mmm. Mm. That was tasty. I like Not that. Back, you bastard. Didn't have the guts to fart me. Fuck you. I'll kill you. I'll kill you. This should go soon suffer the cons. Whoops. My bad. This is the mistress of the dark has stopped following me. Well. Okay, listen, in my defense, Clay did kill someone. Literally right in front of our faces. I was just mending the situation. To taste a life, to embrace its most intimate secrets. Such a burden, such a divine sin. Like I said, just embracing, you know. You know, sometimes you just gotta make decisions in life. It's happened. Good evening, nurse. I'm Dr. Jonathan Reed, the new surgeon here at the Pembroke. Dr. Swansea has already told us about you, sir. I'm Nurse Gwyneth Brannigan. Welcome to the Pembroke Hospital. Did he really? It's a good thing I wasn't hoping to keep a low profile. All members <laughs> of staff have already read about your new blood transfusion technique. Dr. Swansea made sure of that. I see. Well, I'm a little surprised. But I suppose I'll just have to deal with this unexpected notoriety. You must know, blood transfusions are Dr. Swansea's primary subject of research. He is convinced it is the future. Well, you wouldn't be wrong. Your life in London... What? <laughs> Personal questions? I mean, it's worth learning more about people. Hint required, hint required, hint required. Okay, never mind. We can't ask that question. Your life in London. What is the situation here? Tell me about your staff. How are things here? Not good, to say the least. <laughs> We're struggling against an invisible enemy, more lethal than any bullet from a gun. It's hard, Doctor. But the invisible enemy could this hospital fail? Ask more about I the invisible enemy. Invisible enemy. enemy. Quite a poetic term for a disease, especially from a nurse. Sorry, Doctor. These last few weeks have been exhausting. We could all do with a good night's sleep. Agreed, man. Agreed. 
could this hospital fail? Do you fail? think this hospital can survive the epidemic? We are all volunteers here, and we're trying to hold fast, but how do we beat an invisible killer? Some nurses have already resigned. Ah, <sighs> well, what can you do? I'm not familiar with all the staff yet. Perhaps you could help me. Brilliant professionals, most of them. Dr. Swansea has a gift for recruiting talent. Most of them? Is there a problem I should know about, nurse? It would be inappropriate for me to speak ill of a colleague. Uh, anyone stands out? Speak up! <laughs> speak up! Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Oh. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may disagree with some conduct, but in the end, everybody is doing their best. <laughs> anyone stand is out? Is there anyone that stands out? Well... I have never met someone as dedicated as Dr. Tippett's. He should be a standard for us all here. If only he were younger. Why should his age be a problem? I guess it's fair to say he's always pushing himself to the limits. He just doesn't know when to stop and get some rest. Speak up! Nurse Brannigan, if you do know something, please tell me. Anything you say will be held in confidence. No. I may Okay, you gave me the same answer. I'm kind of mad about that. Whoops. Can't skip those dialogue moments. Okay, cool. I've learned enough from you. I don't want to talk to you anymore. Bye. <laughs> Goodbye, nurse. Call me if you need assistance. Yep, okay, I'm out. <laughs> Done talking to you, brother. Okay, we do need to enter the hospital. I really don't feel like talking to this lady. Doctor, where have you been? What do you mean? I have little time to play hide and seek with new staff members, no matter how illustrious they may be. I apologize, nurse. I needed some time to myself. This has been the longest and strangest night of my life. She seems so angry. You delivered poor Mr. Hampton from a terrible fate. The means to that end should be of little concern, doctor. Thank you, nurse. What can I do for you? Dr. Swansea insisted we provide you a quiet office. You'll find it on the second floor with your name on the door. Thank you. Nurse Crane, isn't it? Yes, Dorothy Crane. Welcome to Pembroke Hospital, Dr. Reed. Your office has been prepared. I I really don't have a few questions, but I'm going to go for it. I would like it. to ask a few questions first. How's Mr. Hampton? Who is Dr. Swansea? We know who Swansea is. Where's my room? If you could point me in the direction of my room again, nurse. Second floor of the hospital, left after the stairs. It's the last vacant office at the end of the corridor. Okay. And Mr. Hampton, the patient we brought in. How does he fare? I gave him a sedative to help him sleep. Poor thing was in quite a state of shock. What kind of man is Dr. Swansea? Well, you accepted the job from him. I thought you would have known about your employer. You guys can really just like all screw off. Everyone's rude and mean and, and aggressive. Who knows me more? Who knows me more than I know him? He knows. He knows me. Not who. I've only just met him. I should be snappy. Apologies. I've only just met him the once. This is sudden. I've only just returned to England. Doctor Swansea is a brilliant surgeon and the most compassionate physician. Okay. He knows me more it's than I know right him. to assume Dr. Swansea knows far more about me than I do about him. You'll get to know him soon enough, and better than me. The administrator has better things to do than mix with us. Okay, bye. Good. Didn't I knew I didn't want to talk to you. I, but it's a good way to learn. The more we learn about people, the more opportunities we get to, uh, to, to obviously take advantage of those, those characters and, and extract their blood in the future, so... It's worth it's worth talking to people as much as, as it's annoying. So this guy is gonna get my conversation. Good evening, sir. I'm, I'm Dr. Dr. Jonathan, Jonathan Reed. Reed. I'm new here. I've already heard about you, Dr. Reed. I'm Milton Hooks, the ambulance driver for this shithole of a hospital. That's quite a blunt introduction, Mr. Hooks. You can call me Milton. I like to speak my mind, Dr. Reed. Perk of the job. Don't judge me, and I won't judge you. I'm not sure I understand what you're talking about. Well, I'm no doctor, but I'm pretty sure a gun can't be used as a surgical instrument. You have a keen eye. I learned to shoot during the war and have carried one ever since. Old habits die hard. No need to explain, Dr. Reed. 
And if you ever need a better gun, remember, I may have something for you. Let's trade. I'd like to see your goods. Wise choice, Dr. Reed. <laughs> a reliable gun is what everybody needs these days. Um, can I get a, a, a hard pause uh, for him saying that he'd like to see his goods? Thank you very much. I don't know if that's, uh, I don't know if that's okay. Okay, so he's like our merchant. That's cool. That's good to know. Dude, I don't want to talk to all these people, man. It's a lot of people. We're gonna, let's, let's move on and, and, and see if we can, uh, work our way into another mission here. Dr. Swansea is right. This place seems perfect to conduct my research. It does seem like a pretty nice place. Nurses are needed. Okay, so we're in a shortage of nurses. Fun fact. Second floor, on the right-hand side, last vacant. Second floor, right-hand side, last vacant. This is Swansea's office, and then this should be my office. No? Is this my office? No. Find your office on the second floor. Yeah, this is the second floor. Shouldn't this be my office, one of these? What's this? Oh, yo, a hacksaw. Ooh, down for that. Second vacant. Is this my office? No. I think this is my official office right here. This must be the place. It's definitely away from prying eyes. This is a Relegated big office. to the shadows. A kingdom of my own. At least I won't be sleeping in a coffin. <laughs> that's the old myth that, uh, isn't that the old myth that vampires sleep in coffins? Pretty sure that's a myth. Like something that people have said before. No way I haven't heard of that before. Can I unlock more than one ability? I want this. Hold on, I don't know if it's worth spending experience points yet. Let's, let's save up a little bit more. Well, maybe we'll make that decision next episode. I don't, I don't think we have a reason to, to, to make that. Analyze Williams Bush, Bush. Workshop. Okay, cool. We actually have an objective here. So, you first need to analyze the components you found and then unlock the new recipes. Click on the to analyze. Click on the to analyze components. You have enough components to improve one of your weapons. Use bludgeon. Machete, Clay's Hatchet. Clay's Hatchet does the most damage. You can upgrade your weapon to a new level with the required ingredients. It will inflict more damage and you will also gain access to customization slots. Cool. We, uh, we upgraded a little bit. So now it's a level 3, level 3 hacksaw. Or, uh, level 3, 3, uh, hatchet here. Cool. William Bishop's blood is much more unstable than human blood and shows extensive mutation. But this is not what happened to me. I must keep on searching. The sun is about to rise. I can feel it. I'll continue tomorrow night. He is correct. We shall continue Perhaps tomorrow afternoon. So, guys, so much time. That is going to wrap up our episode for today. I hope you guys enjoyed. Make sure to leave a like, sub, and share around for more vampire as we learn more of the story of how we became a vampire and who is behind all of this. And I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.